Good morning, guys. Welcome to Coach Mo's Monday Morning Show. This show is designed to help you conquer your week. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Uh, I hope you guys started today, Monday, off on the right foot with the right momentum at the right pace. This way, it can carry on throughout the whole week. Um, guys, I woke up this morning. It is cold. And I checked the temperature, and it was only like 45 degrees. But it felt like it was in the 30s this morning. And... Um, I love summertime, okay, but I also love the cold, mainly for pumpkin spice lattes, and for deer season, and for hoodie season, and for flannel season, all right? So I'm not really complaining, I get to pull my hoodies out even more now and wear my flannels even more now, so um, I'm happy, all right? Uh, today, we're going to talk about Closing out the year, guys. The last couple of weeks, I've been talking about closing out the years. The, uh, the year. The year is not over yet. Okay, we got two and a half months left. Two and a half months. We got under 80 days left. Okay. Um, and there's still some room and there's still some opportunities and time for you to finish your goals or accomplish some of your goals. Okay. Part of having goals is, and, uh, is being real with yourself. Okay. Because... You can't achieve every single goal, all right? And it depends on how your goal setting process is, all right? So I was the guy that had one big goal, right? I had these big, it was only one thing, and it was just big goals. There was no small goals, all right? But um, I learned that in order for my mind to process it and for me to actually go through with it, I needed some small goals, Okay, I need some small goals, I need some medium goals, and I need some big goals. Now, big goals, they take five years, they take 10 years, they take 15 years, okay? Um, and I've achieved some five-year goals already, and I've achieved some 10-year goals, but I've done it in less than 10 years. I did it in eight years, all right? But what I learned the best is, is having small goals, okay, that lead up to these big ones. Because when you have small goals, you have an opportunity and you have a chance to actually achieve those goals. So if you have a chance to achieve those goals and you work for them day after day and you achieve those goals, maybe not all your small goals, but some of your small goals, you feel good about yourself. You have more motivation. Your confidence goes up, okay? Because those small goals, those small wins add up and they keep you going day after day. So you're not working day after day for no reason, all right? So look at your list, guys. Look at your list of goals. What is on your list of goals that you can achieve? What do we got left? We got 70 days or so left of the year. What can you achieve in 70 days? Okay. In 70 days, you can read three books. At least. I know some people, and this is mostly girls, right, guys? I don't know any guy really that can read that many books. Um... But girls can read like three books a month or two books a month. It's, it's crazy, all right? But three books by the end of the year, I think is, re is reasonable, it's realistic, all right? That's a good goal. Losing five pounds by the end of the year is a realistic goal. Not 10 or 15 or 20 pounds. Just five pounds, okay, is a realistic goal to do within 70 days. Starting to work out every single day or doing some form of active activity every single day for just 30 minutes. That's a realistic goal, okay? And if you can do these things, these are just some small ones, you can put in whatever you like. These are just some small ones. If you can do these things every single day until the end of the year, leading into the beginning of the year, you will be even more prepared for the beginning of the year. You'll be stronger mentally and physically. You'll be more disciplined and you'll be more ready to attack bigger goals that you set out for 2024. Because you built that process of going in every single day and the discipline of working on something every single day. Okay? So that's my biggest tip for you guys that will help you achieve your goals before the end of the year. So I hope that helps. And if you have any specific questions, let me know. If there's anything that you need help with, let me know. If there's any specific topic, topic that you want me to talk about, let me know. Okay, guys? My phone is open to you guys. Just shoot me a message and I'll be there, all right? Hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I'll see you next week on Coach Mo's Monday Morning Show. Peace out.